In this lesson, we're going to talk about calculating capacity. We've looked at our units of capacity and how to convert in between those. And we've looked at how to convert between units of capacity and our units of volume. Remember that volume and capacity are very closely linked. Now, I've got my tin, tin of tomatoes this time, and I've measured it all up. And what we're going to do first is find the volume so we can find the capacity because we always have to do it in that order, okay? Find the volume, and then you can find the capacity. All right, let's have a go. So I've got all my measurements there. I need to remember that my volume is going to equal area of the base times the height. My area of the base, the base of this shape is a circle. Remembering that the area of a circle is pi r squared and we're going to times by our height. So it will be pi times my radius squared multiplied by my height, which is 11. And my answer will give me 4 or 7.87 cubic centimetres. Remembering I measured all this in centimetres. So we're not at capacity yet because we haven't worked ourselves into these units. We're still in our volume unit. So we need to make that conversion. We have volume, we now need capacity. And our capacity will be one kind of translation to these different units. We know that one cubic centimetre is one milliliter, and we have 447.87 of them. We don't have a whole litre yet because we don't have a thousand, so we'll be working as a one to one ratio. If I have one cubic centimetre, I have one milliliter. If I have this many cubic centimetres, I have the same number of milliliters. So now I've converted from my units of volume into my units of capacity. So first step, always find volume and then always find capacity straight after using these rules.